Hello everyone, I am Suprashi Sarkar, co-author is Anand Rukdas. We are here to present our paper on a DC-DC modular multi-level converter topology with single arm for MVDC railway traction application. These are the content of our work. First, I will explain the research motivation, then our proposed topology. The motivation of this work is to find a suitable topology for the future MVDC traction system. Generally, there are two types of traction system, conventional DC traction system, and conventional AC traction system. These are the advantages and disadvantages of both the system. So combining the advantages of both conventional DC and AC traction system, the DC traction system of higher voltage level can be an alternative solution to the conventional MVAC traction system. For this future MVDC system, the possible topologies are input series output parallel topologies and MMC topologies. This is the proposed topology. It only uses one arm of conventional half bridge MMC, hence the switch count and control complexity are reduced. Further, due to the modular nature of the converter, faulty submodule can be bypassed in inside the converter. The parallel LC filter is tuned at medium frequency to oppose the flow of AC component through it, and the series C filter opposes the DC component flowing into the transformer. This is MATLAB Simulic platform where we have simulated our proposed converter. This is the overall proposed converter model and this is your DC side voltage. This is n number of submodules we have used and we will zoom into each submodule now. If we zoom, you will see half bridge submodules and a DC link capacitor is there. Now, these are the filters and the transformer which are tuned at 400 Hz. And further, if you see this side, these are the waveforms. MVDC side voltage, arm voltages, transformer primary side voltage and submodule capacitor voltage. If you see this arm voltages, arm voltages having 11 level because we have used 10 number of submodules. And now we'll zoom the submodule capacitor voltages. You can see this submodule capacitor voltages are perfectly balanced, which means your sorting algorithm is working and also the energy balancing is also taking place. Laboratory prototype. This is the laboratory prototype. This is our complete laboratory prototype. Here you can see how this mode sensing circuit control was made above FPG and DSP filters, the DC source. In the DSO, you will see the first one is the MVDC side voltage, second one is the arm voltage, and third one is the primary side voltage of the transformer. In the prototype, we have used four number of the module. So the arm voltage is having five levels. Thanks to IEEE IES for providing such an interactive platform via IES SYPA contest. 